Okay, I bet you've heard that natural fibers are oh so good. And you probably picked up some fabric one time thinking, ah, this is a great cotton fabric. And then you've realized it's polyester. And then you're thinking, well, is there even a difference? Because these cotton fabrics look exactly the same as these polyester fabrics, right? So let's test them head to head, cotton versus polyester in some sewing tests to see what the real difference is between the two. Welcome back my dear sewing friends. Today's video is a really, really great one because we're talking cotton versus polyester, right? I know, I bet there are some of you thinking, yeah, these fabrics, because they look exactly the same. And when you first start sewing, they do appear the same. But as I think you'll see through this, there are some key differences that when you start sewing with them, you'll start to notice. And we are going to test five different categories and actually test them and see what the results are, what difference it is. Are they easier to sew with, harder to sew with? How do they iron? How do they ease? All these things we will be testing. Let's first do a quick crash course on what we're actually talking about here when we talk about the difference between polyester and cotton and how fabric's made. Super crash course because it'll help you understand maybe why they do perform differently. So polyester, cotton, these are fibers. So these aren't fabrics, these are fibers. So fabric is made, it, the first process starts off with fibers. And these are things like cotton, silk, wool, nylon, polyester, all of these are fibers. And so that's that raw material that we start with. They're processed and then they're spun into yarns. So think, you know, the wool on the spinning wheel, grandma with that big spinning wheel and spinning those long strands of wool, that's a yarn. And so if you look really closely, you pull the fabric apart, these yarns are actually then woven or knitted into fabric. So this is the yarns of what fabric is made up of. And they're the three stages of fabric. And so fabric names are things like gabardine, satin, denim, georgette, chiffon, all these types of names, these are fabric names. And so when we talk about polyester and cotton, these are the fibers that they start from. And some of the most inherent properties of the fabric, like how it handles, how it absorbs moisture, uh, how it looks and feels and eases, all of these are actually characteristic of the fiber that it's made from. And that is where the key difference between polyester and cotton comes from. Because as you can see, these two have been made to look exactly the same. So this polyester fabric has been made in a way so that it replicates and looks like cotton. That's the whole point of why they use polyester for it. It can be replicated and made to look like many different fabrics. And that's sort of what, where we're, why we're here. And if they look the same and kind of almost feel the same when you start, like, I, is there a real difference? Oh, and if you want a video on how you can learn to tell the difference between them, yes, you can. I'll put that video here about the fabric guessing game. Uh, it's really fun and you can learn to tell and my mum is getting really good at it too. Okay, let's get into it. We have five different categories. We're going to talk about, first of all, the handle, the drape, the feel of the fabric itself. We'll uh, compare with general sewing, we'll compare with easing and manipulating when we're sewing. We'll talk about finger pressing and pressing with the iron. Four, five, I think that was five. Anyways, let's get into the first, like first one we're going to look at is just the like overall appearance, the handle, the drape, the feel of these two fabrics. Let's start with our polyester category. Now, what do we actually have here? So I have on this side, polyester. This is 80% polyester, 20% cotton. Unfortunately, I could not find a 100% polyester fabric that looked exactly the same. So it's an 80-20. So keep in mind while we're doing these experiments that this does have 20% cotton. So it does have a little bit in there. Um, and so the things that we notice about it being different would be more so different in 100% polyester as well. But I wanted to get these because obviously they look identical to these cotton ones here. Let's take us back to first category, handle, drape, and feel of these ones. Let's take our polyester to begin with. So as when you're a beginner, even intermediate and more seasoned sewist, they can, it can be really hard to tell. And I've trained myself over time because I know doubt about this stuff. So. When I feel these, to me, I hear noise. It sounds ruffly. Um, and I think if we do a big test here, 
Yep, polyester, right? Characteristic is it does not crease. Um, this is when you take it out of the washing machine and you do this, and that's your ironing, right? <laughs> that is definitely one I, good point about polyester is that no wrinkles. So, you know, I sort of feel like it's a bit stiff. I wouldn't say it really has a great drape or it doesn't really, to me, it doesn't really feel that nice. It's just a bit, and I can hear it. As I said, I can, I can hear it. And the same with this one. This one sounds even worse, actually. Ooh, I actually just got a bit of static electricity off that. <laughs> yes, that happens with polyester. Okay, so what I really noticed is like stiffness, the sound, it sounds, you know, funny. And it, it kind of doesn't crease or anything. It kind of bounces back. It kind of feels very like a mat, like it doesn't want to do anything that I want to do. It just is what it's made and that's staying like that. That's kind of how I feel about that. And it doesn't really have much drape. It's just kind of a bit, you know, stiff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't make this a beautiful cowl neck or something. It would just kind of be a bit stiff. So that's our polyester. Let's compare to the cotton ones. Instantly, <laughs> I noticed the noise difference. This feels like cloth, not like a table plastic tablecloth. Um, so I like that already. And as I'm handling this, it feels like it wants to stay where I drape it, right? I notice I can feel the difference. It has like, yeah. I mean, it obviously, um, when I even crush it for a little bit, of course we have the crease lines and the crush. So you will notice that about cotton, of course, is, is going to crush more and crease more. But that feels and looks so much nicer. And this one, yeah, again, I can um, hear, oh, I can actually see lots of little fluff flying around in the um, air here, which makes sense because cotton fibers are shorter and it's going to um, come off more. Whereas polyester one, think of it like one long tube of plastic is the yarns. So nothing's going to fluff off with it, mostly anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like when I crunch this up in a ball, it actually kind of like stays there. Like it, it will do what I kind of want it to do. Whereas I was doing this with this one and it just kind of like, this one kind of springs out and it still just goes to this flat piece of fabric, whereas this will hold that shape that I'm trying to tell it to. All right, so to conclude, um, to compare the two here, our polyester is stiffer. It doesn't drape as well. It definitely has a different sound, like it's noisy when you wear it and move it. It's kind of has that plasticky kind of um, sound to it and feel. It just feels like it wants to stay in one big flat piece of fabric. Whereas the cotton, I definitely feel it drapes more. It's softer. It feels like you actually want to put it against my skin like this. And it kind of will hold, like it will sort of do what I want it to do. Like it'll stay into a little ball. It feels like it's going to maneuver and manipulate. So they're the main differences that I feel through there. And of course the creasing, the polyester is like wrinkle free, which well, that can be a very good thing. And the cotton obviously wrinkles. And I do see little fluff balls flying around with all this like flowing. That's coming from the cotton there as well. So they're probably the main differences that I see there with our handle, drape and feel. Next category looks, let's look at just general sewing, just how it sews straight seam under the machine. Is there any difference between the polyester and the cotton? So let's go polyester, cotton and polyester, cotton, one of each. Let's go. Okay. So some results here. Uh, generally not much in actually sewing it. I didn't really notice any difference at all. I do see a little bit of difference in these, um, end seams. Obviously these are unpressed or anything like that. The polyester ones are definitely more puckery. I can see that, um, you know, they're just more puckery, uh, whether it is, you know, my tension needs fixing or something like that. But generally like this, these cotton ones are just kind of laying a lot flatter and the polyester ones do tend to be more 
puckery around the seam, even though they're the same fabric of the same weight, the same, uh, obviously they look exactly the same and that's the biggest difference that I noticed there, but otherwise not much. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Let's step it up a notch and talk about how sewing when we're trying to manipulate and ease in fabric and what better way to test ease than to put this sleeve head into this shoulder um, seam here and try and do it without any gathers at all. Now I've made this with quite an, a large amount of ease in there so I have to try and ease it in and not get gathers. True ease, all right? So I'm just going to do it flat to keep it maybe easier um, and I'll do polyester first and then I will go ahead and do the cotton and we'll see the results. So let's start with our polyester. So in sewing this uh, polyester fabric, I first noticed that my pins were quite difficult to actually pierce through. I really had to like pierce through the fabric to get um, to the other side, which was interesting. It um, didn't handle very well. It wasn't very nice to actually use. The gathers just kind of um, seem, like I said in the handle and feel before, it really kind of felt like the fabric just wants to stay in one big flat sheet, not sort of do what I want it to do. So. I have my gathers uh, here finished and we have our little finished sleeve. So I'd say all in all, I ended up, um, it's not too bad. The gathers are, I should note that I forgot how much ease I put in this sleeve. Doing it without gathers was obviously going to be impossible. So we've got a gathered sleeve head. And so they've turned out okay. Um, a little bit um, pleaty rather than gathery but not too bad. So we'll be pressing this later on, but let's go ahead and now do the same test to the uh, cotton fabric and see if the experience was uh, any better or any different between them. I notice immediately the difference in the feel of how this cotton fabric actually feels like it wants to manipulate and move in a different way than like it wants to do what I tell it to do basically. So it's really nice. I immediately noticed the difference. Uh, our end result here is quite nice. We'll compare them in a, in a moment, but I felt like this, it wants to actually crease and, and compress into itself. Uh, whereas the other one did not, uh, the feel like you get smaller, little finer um, pleats through here for the gathers. I was trying to go very quickly through this, so it's not my best work, don't judge me on it. Um, the experience of using this was so much nicer. It just felt like it wanted to work, whereas in uh, the polyester, it did not. Let's compare the two. Okay, polyester on this side, cotton on this side. Remember, these are the same shape sleeve. And so if we look uh, between the two, I actually noticed there's a lot more actual gathering the gathers have to come all the way down here a lot further, I feel, on the polyester one. And yeah, I feel like this is way puffier, like it springs out and it's puffier, whereas this feels like it just wants to glide off um, more. I'm not sure if you can see the difference there on camera between just how they kind of want to um, hold themselves. But all in all, I'd say the polyester has a lot more gathers because it doesn't want to kind of like pull in towards itself. All those yarns are kind of stuck there. Whereas the cotton uh, really is able to manipulate far more and you're able to get smoother, finer uh, little gathers there and ease that in more. I'd say the winner, clear winner here in this category is the cotton um, in for easing and manipulating. I thought I'd try one more thing in this category too and that is just some bias tape. How well does it mold around? So I have, Yes, <laughs> polyester on polyester, cotton on cotton. So let's start with the poly and let's just see. I can tell you in making these bias tapes, I liked the cotton better, but I think that comes into our other category that we'll get to in a moment um, because this just does not press into shape as well. So I feel like I can maneuver this if I really try kind of like make this into shape. I could get that where it gets really curvy through here. It is harder to manipulate. So if I try and get this curve, all right, <laughs> I think it'll work with the, the polyester bias tape, but it kind of, 
it doesn't want to stay where I tell it to. And it doesn't want to kind of concertina because it's all about this side getting bigger, this side getting smaller. So it um, wraps in to itself and creates the curves that we need. Let's try the cotton one and see what kind of different. So this one feels a lot different already. I feel like this cotton one wants to go into a shape really easily. And when I try and um, make this side longer and this side smaller, I actually kind of look at this. <laughs> so the cotton one has actually maintained that shape. Whereas if I do the same, the poly one's curving a little bit, but the cotton one is keeping that curve in itself so much more. And well, yes, it's a clear winner for me that uh, the cotton is a winner in easing and manipulating and shaping fabric for sure. Okay, let's go on to finger pressing. As you get more and more experienced in your sewing, you will use fewer and fewer pins. And one of the things that you will do is something called finger pressing. If you have never heard this before, it's just as it sounds, pressing with your fingers to kind of just help things along. You Sometimes you don't have to go to the iron. You can just do it with your fingers to maneuver. And you might've noticed what I was doing already with this bias tape in the last category is finger pressing. So, um, and it's very, very valuable to be able to just quickly sort of maneuver the fabric and tell it what to do, so to say. And you do it a lot, particularly as you use less and less pins. So let's just say I wanted to fold over this edge here and see if I can just finger press it round and round and see how it actually, um, would I be able to sew it without any pins very easily by just a little finger press. Okay, our cotton we have, yes, as expected, that's uh, maintained those creases. It was really easy to finger press and I feel like I just put this under the machine and no problems. I, I would definitely would not use a pin if I was to sew um, that little hem over, so to say. So let's try the polyester. So when you finger press, it's about heat and pressure. So you kind of want to heat it up a little bit and um, firmness in the pressure. That's, that's any ironing whatsoever, even if it's just your fingers. So I immediately noticed the difference here in that <laughs> it almost doesn't want to crease. I'm really having to, um, to really manhandle this to actually get this to kind of fold. So this is on a straight seam on grain. So I still feel like I could definitely do this without pins but it does feel like it's a lot more effort and it's just not sitting as crisp. Let's compare polyester over here, cotton over here. So we can see already that the crease lines are definitely more um, sharper in the cotton as expected. Uh, and it, it does like already, if you just want to fold this up, it's sort of already retaining that fold over. Whereas the polyester is kind of, you've got a few creases. I had to work a lot harder to get them, but it doesn't feel like it's maintaining. It's like that shape. You can see again, it just kind of wants to fall back into that flat piece of fabric. So when it comes to finger pressing, cotton is definitely um, a winner there versus the polyester is quite difficult to actually finger press. Let's start with the general sewing samples. And as we see there, it's slightly puckery. I have my iron set to a synthetic setting. So very quite low. And let's see how these ones press out. So they pressed out nicely. It took a few goes of going over and quite a bit of steam. They're still somewhat a little bit puckery, but they did um, flatten out quite nicely in the end. And I'm still going to use the low setting for this and let's just see how the cotton um, presses. Well, instantly I noticed just with one pass that that flattened out that seam, even on this low setting. Uh, this required a lot less and you can probably see already this is like super flat and crisp, whereas this still does have a little bit of waviness, etc. But I imagine it would be nothing that um, happens once you start wearing it. Well, let's take it up a notch and actually uh, press and iron our uh, sleeve heads here and see after pressing how they turn out. Let's start with polyester. Uh, pressing the polyester, I immediately noticed that it is quite difficult. It's taking a while and I get, I have not experienced for a long time water spitting out of my iron because the temperature has to be so low, of course. I did end up turning it up a little bit. Um, hopefully not burning anything because of course you have to iron at a very, very low temperature. Otherwise you risk that iron shine and you'll burn and literally melt the fabric. So it was quite difficult 
um, to press. It didn't seem to want to do it very well and the water spitting was just a bit um, unreal actually. Uh, then pressing the cotton, my immediate notice was how easy it was compared to the polyester. It just took one pass over. Of course, I turned up the temperature to be an iron uh, for cotton, so a much hotter temperature, but it just, it took one pass and it ironed down really, really flat and well. And it just took no time at all. And the sleeve had just rolled around real nicely. So let's compare the two in the ironing category. Well, the fact that iron has to be at a quite low temperature and you might get water spatters is well it's not really nice um, at all <laughs> we've all hate that about ironing I know uh, I noticed the cotton pressed way nicer you get a really crisp result with the cotton versus the polyester but it's not um, unsurprising um, and the overall on this with the sleeving and the easing is I do notice and look and maybe you can see on camera the um, amount of gathers is more on the polyester. So I do notice from where they start down here to where they get full, it starts a little bit sooner on the polyester and I would say a little bit chunkier. And of course it's not quite as flat, not quite as crisp um, in both the seaming and the, um, the, the pressing. When it comes to winning, I would say that the cotton is um, my clear front runner in there, except if the fact that you look at the polyester in that wrinkling um, pressing, it doesn't really wrinkle. So if you're ironing or pressing for that reason, obviously the polyester wins because it doesn't wrinkle, but it also means it doesn't want to press very well or do what you tell it either. And so concluding the difference between polyester and cotton, uh, it's very hard to show on camera, I know, because it's mostly about how it feels and you can only really experience that by touching. This was a really fun experiment to, to know because I obviously have noticed this over my years of sewing and why I choose um, natural fabrics, natural fibers over synthetics because it makes the experience so much more pleasurable. It was so much easier to do those tasks, tasks on the cotton fabric it was easier to actually pin and gather and sew those gathers and ease in that sleeve head. It's easier to finger press. It was easier to actually press and end um, up with um, a nice sleeve. Like it was just so much easier and it, uh, the whole experience was nicer. And the thing is, as a very beginner, these two fabrics are the same. And then you get this polyester that's even called like you think is a cotton fabric, right? and it's a polyester and you're just thinking, why aren't my gathers looking nice? Why can't I iron this very well? Why is it not easing around and shaping? And these sleeve heads are just ridiculous to do. Who would ever do this? And it does come down to the, the fibers, the fabrics that we're, that we're choosing can uh, make it easier and harder for us uh, to get the results that we want. And it's something that I've definitely noticed over the, the, the years and the time. And that, um, you know, depending on the results and how you like to experience things, it can work. So in concluding, it's definitely, I think in my opinion, cotton is far superior to work with to get a nicer end result. And it feels nicer to wear as well. As I said, I get this like this, honestly, it feels a bit plasticky. This one feels a bit more like cloth. But if you're looking for something that is like wrinkle resistance and you want to just pull it out of the washing machine, um, wear and tear and no ironing, then polyester will be your win if that is the most important thing to you. If you like a bit of drape and handle and easy pressing and ease in what you are constructing and making, cotton will be the winner. I hope that you enjoyed watching the two differences and I would actually really encourage you to do this experiment yourself because you will instantly feel the difference, particularly with the sleeve head do that one. I would love to hear it. Your experience. Tell me in the comments down below. What's your experience? Polyester versus cotton. Have you noticed a huge difference and hate how they just make them look the same and you don't know until you figure this thing out yourself? I'd love to hear your experience down below because it all helps us get better and better at our own sewing. Until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.